Hi, this is Dr. Nick. I'm here at CES 2020 at uh, the Digital Health Summit. Delighted to be joined by Dr. Leslie Saxon. She is the Executive Director at the USC Center for Body Computing. Leslie, thanks for joining me. Thank you. So, uh, you're an interventional cardiologist. Um, you've been in this digital health space for a long time. Tell us a little bit about the journey and, and where that started and how you got here. Great, good question. Well, I am an interventional cardiologist and I implant defibrillators, pacemakers, things like that. And in about 2006, those devices became capable of network transmission, which means that we, you know, we were implanting a $50,000 computer into someone and suddenly we could get data from it every day. So I was very interested in, in studying that. And we did a large research project of like 200,000 patients, people with connected defibrillators all over the country right. and showed that just having that connectivity um, save lives because you'd get data earlier rather than wait till they came into a you know care center so I was like okay what could this be for everything involving healthcare if we were continuously getting data stream from sick people and this was 2006 yeah it was a year before the iPhone came out Wow but then so then the reason it was better lucky than good was because the iPhone and the smartphone really put the internet in everyone's hands so that was the conduit and now, you know, here we flash forward to 2020 and more people in the world have an internet connection through a phone. They're checking it 200 times a day. Right. Let's deliver healthcare, diagnostics, education, and therapy through it, right? So, so you were really preeminent in sort of seeing that in part because you, you were suddenly seeing the data in that specific yeah. organ. Yeah. Um, and, and now you've assembled a whole department around yeah. this that's looking at this data, gathering it. What have you seen develop over the course, you know, with the innovations that we've seen? What's been the most significant inflection point, do you think? I think cloud, the cloud has really? been really important yeah. because that's kind of set up for delivering this global continuous healthcare system where you're constantly getting individual information and getting optimized through sensors on your phone that you're wearing your geolocation, whatever it is. And so it breaks down this idea of sick care and healthy well-being, it's, it's life care. We call it life care. Right. And it's a totally different model and a much better model uh, for managing. So it's that instant, widely available, continuous data that's accessible, I guess, to everybody. I mean, it's not just confined to the clinical community. This is yeah, patients no, it's, as well. It's really directed toward the consumer. And think about it. You're, personal health record that's been collected will so dwarf your electronic medical record, which would be 2%, and it is 2% of a person's life even with a chronic disease, right? So you're getting all the data and hopefully you're making these observations that, you know, allow an individual to preserve themselves. That's how I really look at it versus a more sort of paternalistic way we came up training and practicing medicine, which right. doesn't serve the patient, I think, at the end of the day. Well, it was right at that time, but now things yeah, have changed so point. dramatically. It was right at that time. Um, yeah. it, you know, it's this combined effort, and also it's now the N of one. It's the patient, uh, the, you know, yeah. individualized aspect with all of this data. Yeah. As you look around, you know, obviously exciting show, lots of consumer activities. Uh, where do you see all this going? What's the next big leap? Well, I think for traditional healthcare, for us, for a doctor, I'd love to see, I'd love to practice what we call the top of my license. So I'd love right. to see a patient come to me, they picked up their atrial fibrillation on their Apple Watch, they got on a blood thinner, they know what the safety issues are, they were able to access that cheaply, they have a little workup, and then they see me and I'm really giving, they're already smart because they've been educated. So I want to see companies here that can translate medical data in some way, AI, complex to a patient in a way they can understand to start that education. Sensors I love wearable and plantable doesn't matter because you need medical grade data, you need metabolics, physiology. Right. So I want all that stuff. Fantastic. I think, you know, an exciting uh, opportunity for, you know, true patient engagement, which is the wonder drug of the century. <laughs> um, an exciting time. Uh, just remains, thank you for uh, thank uh, joining Thank you so me. much. Okay. This is Dr. Nick. I'm here at CES 2020 at the Digital Health Summit.